Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, I am Lucy. Here I am again on YouTube. I'm really excited for this video today because I genuinely love this makeup. I did it the other day and I posted a little poll on Instagram and you all said yes. It's so easy, you will genuinely have all the products sat there at home already. Get them out, dust your brushes off and do this with me. I'm gonna tell you what products you need. So first of all, you need a moisturizer. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Origins Ginseng. This is the gel one. I'm really oily. Use whatever moisturizer you want, basically. For skin, you need a foundation. I'm using the Ordinary Serum Foundation, but any foundation will do. Then you need a concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. concealer. This is the Camo one. I'm using the Colette Medium Sand. Again, any concealer will do. I'm using a cream contour but don't worry if you've not got this because you can miss this step out if there's one product that I really urge you to buy it's this and it's on sale at the moment for six pounds so I'll leave it linked down below if you've not got this product don't panic if you perhaps have like a darker concealer like this kind of color this orangey brown color something to kind of add depth then grab that but like I said if not don't worry because we're gonna use something else as well Bronzer. So any bronzer, just grab a bronzer. This is my one of choice. This is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using the colour Medium Deep. There's better colours out there. This is just the one I've got. Next product I'm going to use is this. So this is the classic Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. If you've not got powder, don't panic. I'm going to do a few little tricks with it. So if you do have one, like any powder will do. Even talc. No, not talc. But you know, any powder. This one is definitely my one of choice. You will also need a mascara, obviously, because what look is complete without a mascara. Lashes are optional, but this is all about a lash for me. <laughs> and then you need a lip colour, any lip colour, any lip of choice. I'm using the Lipstick Queen, this Il Maquillage pencil, like a pinky. This is another product I urge you to grab. This is the Pink Honey Wonder Wax, and I use the colour Fudge. If you are going to use lashes, especially bottom lashes, tweezers. For this full look, I have used three brushes and one sponge. That is it. I am a sucker for using as minimal brushes as can be. Like, I hate cleaning brushes. It's a ball ache. And also, there's no need. Like, you can multi-use your brushes, multi-use your products. This makeup routine will really show you how to utilise your brushes for multiple purposes and your products for multiple purposes. So they're not just sat in a drawer doing nothing. You're using them to their full capacity. Classic, like, foundation brush. You'll have one of these, I'm telling you, in your drawer. This is a Molly O'Brien Lulu M026 brush. This is my powder brush for bronzer and things like that. So this is a Doll Beauty DB2. Anything fluffy, I really like an angled brush, but you don't need an angled brush, just a fluffy one. And then this. So I didn't even really use this, but if you wanted to get in there with your eyeshadow or concealer or anything, then a little detail brush like this is ideal. Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. And then last but not least, a beauty blender. I love a beauty sponge like this. This is a Be Perfect one. I do have a discount if you wanted to pick this exact one up or anything else from Be Perfect. Always wet your beauty blender. Always. <laughs> I like this one because it's got an edge on it too, so you can really utilise the sponge just like everything else. So that is all the products and tools you need. So let's get into this makeup. I don't know why, but I'm so nervous to do this look today. So the first product I'm going to use is this, the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser. This is the gel one. I've already been through like two of these. It's really, really nice. I'm going to do an updated favourite skincare product though, because I do have a lot <laughs> of favourite moisturisers, eye creams. So just basically use your favourite moisturiser. Oh, this one smells absolutely... Okay, so next up is brows, and <laughs> I did this on my story the other day, I used this, and the amount of sticker taps I got was crazy. So if you don't know what a sticker tap is, that's people that click on your link. So I contacted Pink Honey, and they have given me a discount code, so it's LucyPH, I'll leave it here on the screen. 
so you can get discount on this and it's back in stock at the moment not sure about when you're watching this pink honey wonder wax and i use the color fudge this one is like a light brown to medium brown color they do do an original one which is clear so if you're not sure what color to get that is amazing it's like a wax with a hole in it like that browns are definitely my thing and this is my favorite what you need for this is a spoolie like this I just get these off Amazon. Type in mascara ones and you can get like a pack of 50 or a pack of 100. These are vital. I'm really coating the wand. Looks quite gross. Pull this up and you've got to work quite quickly with this. This is the only time that I'm heavy handed with my makeup by the way. Only time. This is what's going to give you that laminated look which I love. <laughs> I know it's not for everybody but I love this look. If you don't want them to be as erect <laughs> as i like them then you can push them into position of course because this is tinted you do need to wipe away any residue from the outside so once they're flat i'm gonna kind of like start combing them around on themselves so now i'm getting a face wipe take off the residue from the skin this is really important because if you don't do this your foundation and concealer and whatever you put on your skin might sit a little bit weird on top. You want to kind of let your brows set for a minute before you do this. Fresh bit of wipe and just gently go over the top of the brow itself. This just takes away any excess. I spoke about this one before, it's amazing. This is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This one is so inexpensive, it's like five pounds something and it's fabulous so it gives you like loads of coverage without being too heavy it glides on your skin it's so so nice so this is in the color 2.0 n so i'm just gonna get a pump two pumps of this on the back of my hand i'm using a molly o'brien lulu brush mo26 for this so i'm just distributing it where i want the most coverage and then when i've got less on my brush that's when <laughs> i buff in I'm going to use the excess that's on my brush just to go over my eyes, so barely any product, but it's just going to knock out any redness. Being careful of my eyebrows, of course. Alright, so what I like to do next is bronze. So the product I love, which I go on and on about on Instagram, is this. So this is the Me My Tan Cream Contour. This is fantastic. It's in the sale at the moment. Don't know about when you're watching this, but check. I think it's six pounds, so you need it. I go through these like water. So this is it. So you get the tan color here and then like a concealer color here. What I like to do with this is warm up the outsides of my face. So I'm using the same brush that I use for my foundation. And I'm just going around the edges looks a bit scary <laughs> at first but when it blends out it's fine so it's like contouring but bronzing contouring once i've kind of got the all of the product off my brush on my face i'm then going to go in and buff this out so being careful of my blonde hair and it looks like i've been heavier than i am i can guarantee but i've been really light with my brush placing it on and just wiggling so i'm not pushing really hard i'm just wiggling that product so I've popped it on where I want it and we're just kind of diffusing that edge. So you can see how easily that just melts into the skin. If you do one thing today, buy this. I swear, it's so, so good. I panic when I can't find this product. I bronze before I highlight, so I'm going to pop some concealer on in a minute. But I like to do this first, just so you've got more control makes sense to me so if you bronze up first and then anywhere where you need to brighten you can be really precise i've got some spots here which the foundation didn't cover but it's fine because i can go in with concealer i am going to go in with a powder after just to define it so this is like the initial bronze if you like now my skin's done i'm going to take the same brush and the same product not on the whole of the brush, just on like a little section. And I'm going to bronze up my eye with this as well. This is great if you're in a rush or if you're on the go, 
this makeup is for you. To be honest, this is how I do my makeup all the time. I'm quite a quick, messy makeup artist, but this really works for me. And I like to get the most out of my products too. So if you can use a product for more than one thing, I'm all about that. So I'm just tapping this on just to get a bit of colour. I'm almost going to go over the end of my brow. If you can see here, I'm like patting up towards my temple. That just adds so much dimension and warmth, which is what we want. I will set this though, because it is a cream, I am going to set it. If you dry, you don't really have to, but I am really oily, so it needs setting. Concealer time. So this concealer is new to me, but it's definitely one of my favourites I've ever used, which is like a big claim to fame. So this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is in the colour Medium Sand. Oh, I thought it was called Medium Honey. Medium Sand. You get a big dub applicator like this. So it really reminds me of Shape Tape but it's a lot cheaper. What I'm going to do is strategically place this to give my face as much lift as possible. I'm not going to do a dirty big triangle underneath, it's too much. And because this is such a heavy concealer, you really need to be careful about how much and where we put this. I'm going to pop a little bit here to reverse contour the nose and then a little bit here to lift my eye. I use my beauty blender for this. This is a Be Perfect one and I really, really like this actually because it's got like a sharp edge to it so it's really good for getting into certain areas. It's wet by the way. Hold it quite tight. You can see how much that gives you coverage and brightness. It's amazing. If I pop in the concealer here at the edge of the eye, it's really going to lift and I'm going to do a little tiny wing so this is just going to complement the makeup that I do. See that? I'm just obsessed with these techniques. I You've got the products at home already, I can guarantee it, so just try it. And if you're doing this along with me, remember to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. I'd love to see it. So I just want to show you up close. This is as blended as I'm going with this at this stage. Take my foundation brush, which you know that I use this to bronze with as well. I lightly merge those two products together. I don't like any harsh lines when I'm doing my makeup. So once I'm happy, I'm gonna set this in place with my powders now. I'm gonna spice this up, just to show you another trick. So I'm gonna take my concealer, minimal products, I'm multi-using these like crazy. I'm just gonna brighten that inner portion of the eye. Squeeze my sponge super tightly and just, I'm going to stretch it out actually and just bounce this in that inner corner. Okay, that's really nice because this is so full coverage, this concealer does act as a good base for eyeshadow too. So I'm kind of doing like a cut crease, very haphazardly, just to brighten that back up in there. Now we're going to set, so I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to take the same sponge that I just used, pop this under my eye. You want to kind of move quite quickly, you want to do this pretty much as soon as you pop that concealer on. You don't want any creases. If your eye has creased, then use your brush to kind of get rid of any creases and then go in with this powder. I've used a lot of powders, I've got a lot of powders in my kit that I use all the time, but this is my favourite, 100%. It's really light. Some powders sit so heavy on my skin and I'm getting older now, so it can make me look really old and like wrinkly and crepey, some powders, but this is really, really light. You can use a lot. Obviously, if you don't want to use this much and you don't have to, I recommend just really spending some time and pushing it into the skin. I'm really using the powder that I put down to push in. I have got really quite pory cheeks. I must have squeezed some spots there or something when I was younger, I really regret it. But they can look quite crepey, quite like the moon sometimes. So a trick that I really like to do is push the Laura Mercier powder onto the apple of the cheek just to eliminate any texture. 
So it looks quite crazy, but this is translucent, so don't worry. And I'm gonna use a bronzer, a powder bronzer now, to warm everything back up. So while that's baking, sitting there for a minute, I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the color Medium Deep. If you were to buy one, then I would suggest getting the color Dark Golden. That is like my favorite color ever, I've just run out. I'd rather use a lighter bronzer and have control and add more if I want. These are made of minerals as well, so never look too heavy on the skin. They always look quite skin-like. <laughs> You're probably gonna think, no Lucy, that is not natural or skin-like, but I know what I mean. It could look a lot heavier, trust me. Love this because it's angled, so it really allows you to get back into that cheekbone. So I'm really lightly, I cannot emphasize that enough, super lightly adding this on top of my Me My Tan Cream Contour. So you can see, I've already got my Me My on there as a base. This is simply setting that and locking it in place. So this is gonna give us the longevity that we need for nights out, day drinking sessions, just makeup in general. Because I've got that Laura Mercier powder here, it's almost gently dusting that off my cheek. I keep this lightness here because I want it to be separate so it lifts my eye. I could use a smaller brush if I wanted to to contour my nose, but because I want this to be like a really easy, achievable, quite effortless looking makeup, I'm just going to get my big brush and go over the edges. But if you wanted a more precise nose contour, you could go for it. Same with the eyes. So I'm going to take my big brush under my chin. Need all the help we can get after Christmas. Don't forget the temples, this is so important. It makes makeup for me. I love a bronzed forehead. So just connecting it all up and tapping. As you can see, I'm not rubbing. If I was to rub, it lift everything off underneath. And because we've done a few different layers of creams and powders, it will move easily if you put pressure on. So I'm just gently tapping over. So magic makeup, I love it. I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So for this, I'm just gonna do a corner liner just to lift and emphasize my eyes. I'm using for this the House Labs Punk Liquid Liner. This is really good. Look at that nib. I love a felt tip on myself. On clients, I do use gel. I'll use my Inglot 77 Gel Liner and Duraline mixed up on a brush. But on myself, I love a felt tip. So. Looking straight forward, so hard to do a little lie there, I just get carried away and go crazy. Mark on where it ends first, and then tip my head back and go back on myself. But because I'm doing a miniature like extension to my own eye, I'm just going to take it easy and just shut up a minute and do this. I'm telling you now, it is the hardest thing for me to do a little liner. I just wanna go crazy. So this is what I've done. The mascara that I'm gonna use is this one. This is the Revolution Mascara. Really good, really inexpensive. And then I'm gonna add my lashes, which is the fun part for sure. Obviously, if you didn't wanna wear lashes, that's fine, you can just leave it like this, which is really nice actually for like a daytime look. But I am gonna use lashes because Lashes for me made this look. Like I didn't know that I was gonna do this lash combination, but when I did, I was just like, okay, this is amazing. I'm gonna use Tattoo Lashes, Chick Flick, which is the PLT collab for the tops. So they're not too big, they're quite little. And then I'm gonna use these. These are the Pièce de Résistance. These are Vibe Check Bottom Lashes. These are like clusters that you pop on. Bottom lashes are really underrated. They make the world of difference. They're so, so easy to apply, honestly, on yourself. You'll be surprised. Oh, just wait until you see this, okay? I'm ready. <laughs> just in case you need help with lashes, because I feel like a lot of people struggle with lashes. So I get my packet, I bend it in half like that. I get my thumb and my forefinger and I grab it quite firmly and I pull like that. Just so then you're not straightening your lash. Sometimes people pull the lash off and it straightens it out and then it doesn't sit properly to your eyelid and that is why. You wanna make sure that the band is curved so when you pop it on, it doesn't bounce off. So I'm just gonna measure it up before I put glue on. Oh, I love a lash. 
I was going to cut it in half so then it would just be like a corner lash. But I don't need to, no. I don't want to waste my lash like that. I'm getting the glue that comes with it. Any glue will do. I really like Duo, but not the one that smells of fish. <laughs> I like the one that's in the green packet, so it's almost like a little bit tacky. That's my fave. So I'm getting quite a lot of glue on the back of my lash and then sitting it down for a second. If you're unsure how to put lashes on yourself, I'm going to explain. I'm going to in front of me here, hold my lash really loosely, tip my head back and look down and just go over the top like that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Just lay it down. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's so good because you don't have to let it dry and it's going to grab to anything. It's really sticky. And I can come back to that after and like really tighten it and squeeze it on. Let them dry and then we're going to do the bottom lashes. So you need some tweezers, so get some tweezers for this. So a good little tip is put your glue here. These come in clusters, so what you want to do, get your tweezers. I'm using the biggest lash, the biggest cluster, dipping it in my glue, and then I'm going to go underneath the centre. Like that. I just love a bottom lash. Right, we're nearly there so <laughs> lips this lip product has been one of my favorites for years like I've used it a lot not necessarily in makeup looks but just day to day it's really really nice so this is the lipstick queen frog prince this is a mini one I've got some big sizes I've just got these laying around the house because it's genuinely one of my favorite products ever it's a green lipstick like this but it tints your lips like the nicest natural colour so it almost goes like a pinky mauvey colour bit more like a lip balm it's really soft really wearable when it comes off as well it just fades like it's not like a chunky lipstick like I really really like it and then I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage lip pencil in the colour Flamingo I really like this because it's more pink than nude. I'm going to go around the edge. I'm going to add some setting spray now. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. By far my favourite. I used to work for Urban Decay and this is just a staple in everybody's makeup kit that I know. It's just fantastic. It's literally got ingredients in it that protect your face from environmental elements like wind, rain, sleet, snow. So I'm just drenching my skin in that because we've used so much powder I really like to rehydrate and just make sure it's all locked in place. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did it along with me then please tag me on Instagram or comment down below if you found this helpful. I'd love to see your recreations. This is hands down one of my favourite makeup looks ever it's so easy to achieve you will have all the products at home i'm guaranteeing it right now it really enhances all your features obviously it's a lot of makeup but i don't think it looks too much if you were to wear this in the day on a night out i think you just look like a good version of you which is what we all want to look like with our makeup on hope you enjoyed this make sure to subscribe i'm really trying with youtube it's my number one goal my number one focus so I'd love your support, please. I'm going to be posting two videos a week. Yes, I said it. So now I'm going to have to do it. I'm posting two videos a week. So make sure to subscribe, comment down below. And yeah, I'm just excited. I'm excited to be back on this journey. I've tried it before and it wasn't the right time. Now we've got the house and I've got a little setup going, but I've got another setup on its way. And I'm vlogging the whole thing. So you want to see that, I know you do. I've got loads of house videos coming too, which have been pending for a very long time. Cannot wait to share with you the before and after videos here on YouTube. <laughs> so excited. Right, I'm going to go and take some pictures, but I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.